Hello everybody, Jeff here coming to you live from the Home Depot here in Coconut Creek, Florida. And today I'm showing you their brand new Halloween section that they just unveiled. And we're shooting this in 4K video with my Nikon Z6 camera here. The reason why we decided to shoot this in 4K and upload it instead of doing a live stream is, as you know, uh, YouTube doesn't allow you to upload more than a high definition, standard high definition uh, stream. So I wanted to do super high quality 4K on this one here. And because uh, sometimes, you know, you'll be walking through here and their compression is really bad on YouTube live streams. They're just terrible sometimes. And you'll see the picture break up and start blocking and all that. But for this, I wanted to give you a really good, perfect set of colors and really super high 4K resolution here for you to see. And it's just going to be really incredible for you today. So we're covering here mostly here the new Halloween stuff and some of the, uh, the Labor Day sale, because today is Labor Day, and the sale is going on for another week or so. And then uh, we're going to be covering a few other goodies here in the store as well. So sit back, buckle up, and we're going to give you a great tour here, and it all starts right now. So as you look down the aisle here, you can see there's just boatloads upon boatloads of generators. They're just stacked up eight feet tall everywhere you can look around and it's just an ocean of generators here so we figured there's probably about 150 or 200 of these here all the way up the aisles here okay so these generacs here at home depot are 7.99 and the guys here are telling me that these are the better ones to get the champions here are about 650. As far as power range, they're all in the same range, around 6,500 watts. The Ryobi is 799, which is surprising me that they would charge that much money for it. Wow, 799 guys, that's amazing, huh? And they've piled up more and more of these things here. Gas cans. Okay, and here they got a, a KitchenAid grill here for $5.99. That's marked down from $7.99. Let's take a look at another. Oh, first of all, I like this. Pretty nice thermometer they got there, huh? All right, so let's take a look under the hood on this one. Now, this is good. See, I like this type of grate better. It's a stainless steel. I still don't like what they did when they start cheaping out on the bread rack though, where they paint it. So I don't know what it, maybe that's a more of a ceramic type coating, maybe it'll be okay. I don't I don't know, but I just prefer stainless steel. My grill at home I have a stainless steel grate and a stainless steel bread rack. But overall I mean I like the look of this, this nice stainless steel polished look here. And it's two hundred bucks off dudes. And check this out guys here. You know, we got the Bosch Daredevil. This is the 15 piece, I'm sorry, the 12 piece spade set here. This thing here is on sale right now for $15.97. It was $21.97. And of course it says on the package there that it's a $55 value. And check it out, folks. They got the Halloween section here is finally had their grand opening when I was in here two days ago. They had this all fenced off and you couldn't get into it. So they are fully operational now, ready for business, even though we're in a hurricane watch right now for Hurricane Dorian. <laughs> Most of the people that are in here this morning are getting all sorts of batteries, extension cables, generators, and gas cans right now. And I'm the only one here shopping for Halloween stuff. All right, so let's start off with this handsome fellow right here. Yeah. So this guy right here is 199 bucks. And they've also got the 72 inch skeleton knight here. He's $99. This evil dude right here, man. <laughs> and here you have. 
grab the headless horseman for 249. I like that he's holding up his little jack-o-lantern there. And he sits up high on his horse on this elevated stand here. This is really nice. There's your headless horseman, folks. Here's a massive display here, the Scary Skeleton Arch. This one is really cool. And right next to it here, we have our haunted house, $99. Okay, so there's nobody in here the minute I enter the aisle here, right, to, to film. The second I enter here, suddenly it fills up with 100 freaking people trying to do the same thing I'm doing. Here's some of the more haunting decorations here. Uh, but I like the some of these country decorations here are pretty nice too. Yeah, some of these country decorations here are pretty nice as well. And of course we have our harvest wreaths up here. 50 bucks. You get a smaller one for 25 bucks. And a pumpkin cornucopia over here. This is a little bit more sinister. A little freaky for me. That looks kind of like uh, something you might see up in New Orleans. At Mardi Gras. I like the truck with the pumpkins. That is really cool right there. 15 bucks, dudes. I think this guy does something here. Can you push it? Okay, and take a look at this handsome fellow here. This is the, he looks like he's about seven foot tall, the towering jack-o-lantern, or jack-o-man they call it. This guy right here is $159. Oh, and he's got a try me button. Let's try him and see what he does. Hey, not doing nothing. He's giving me the silent treatment today. The cold shoulder. That's him right there. And he's got these little jack o lanterns Here's an interesting 17 inch flower basket here. That's 19.99.98. This is cool here, a sunflower wooden cart. Okay, now right here, they have all of these Halloween decorative pillows. 15 bucks for most of these. And that one looks like it's ready for Thanksgiving. Okay, so they have this cool 24 inch, this is a LED neon witch sign with a broom. This is $39.98, that's 40 bucks basically. And I'll show it to you right up here. They've got it sitting right up here on display, right there. So you can see that there, with, that's kind of cool with the broom on it. It's good to see these LED things because, you know, neon is just too much of a pain to deal with. Uh, but to see them in LED, they're brighter. Uh, this is the coffin carriage that, that's part of that. Uh, it's not part of the arch, but they had it under it, stalked under it. It's got the skeletons on there. And this one here, uh, 179 is the price on that guy there, that coffin carriage. Good evening. And moving on over a few feet more to the left, you'll see they got the fire and ice cauldron of witches. That looks kind of cool to put in your front yard right there. That's 149. the expressions on their faces. Okay, now you have Day of the Dead Skull. It's just a little lighted fixture. And a collapsible witch. And then just in between them is this animated ghost tree, which, you know, I never really like these stupid little 
animated things, these little wire, wire metal kind of skeleton uh, wrapped with fabric. Those animated things always tend to fail, usually by the end of the first season. So I, I stopped buying those. I don't, I don't deal with that stuff anymore. Now this dude right here, he looks very, very musically talented. I don't know about you guys. I'm thinking this guy's going to be playing me some good stuff here. Banjo guy over here too. No one goes there. You get the talking raven. That's cool. So that guy right here is twenty bucks. Uh, you gotta. Got some LED lanterns here. This one looks nice. There you go, that's all you can do. See that, it just lights the little candle inside. I'm sure at night it probably looks better out, outside in your front yard. But I like that scene on there with the haunted mansion and on the backside there's the spider web. And they got the black cat with the jack-o'-lanterns. <clears throat> Here's a really sinister looking LED lantern light. So they've really gotten very uh, inventive this year. I, I see a lot more really intricately sculpted stuff here. Like this one here, this 18 and a half inch LED, um, this is the candelabra here. But look at this thing. Just look at the detail on that right there. Those faces, huh? Okay, so they have this other sign here too, which is cool. This is the LED neon trick-or-treat sign here. And this guy is $39.98 here. And they have one running up here, up top, I'll show you. So there it is right there. Now, it looks a little lighter, I think, in the camera than it does with my eye, because I'm looking at it through the screen right now. That green is really a lot bright, you know, a lot more vivid green, a lot more saturated. And let me introduce you guys to my new girlfriend. She's a real sweetheart once you get to know her. So that is the 11 inch trick or treat candy bowl, 18 bucks. That's kind of cool, man. I like that. Let's see if I can get her again. Yeah, Ooh, she's scary. You know, aside from the bad breath, she's actually a pretty nice person. <laughs> this one looks real vicious, dudes. So that's the uh, Cerberus dog there. That's $39.98 for that. That's kind of cool. <clears throat> like I said, they're getting really inventive this year. Oh, and what have we here? This is a three-foot LED spider here. Now it's all folded up and everything, but that's pretty much what it does. It sits there with his eyes aglow. But when you stretch out those legs, it goes out to three feet, which is kind of cool. That's $29.98 for that. It's a 17-inch skeleton spider. Well, they're calling it 17 inches, but those things spread out three feet, so it's the body that's 17 inches. You got an animated frog. He's 20 bucks. And probably a fish too. Let's see if he works. Here's an animated bat. See the details on these little knick-knack items, like the little tombstones, I mean, just incredible. These are 10 bucks each. But if you look at the detail, and they're even putting glitter and stuff on them now, they're just incredible. Look at this guy here. He's LED, let's see what he does. All right, let's give it a whirl. 
Okay, so if you hold down the button there. Oh, good. You see, it, it, it projects like a moving, smoky kind of a fog there. That looks really cool, dude. I've been in a darkened room. You're doing your little seance or trying to scare the little kitties. That would look really awesome. So that guy is 20 bucks. And let's not forget our bales of straw here. These are eight bucks. And we got probably the best sale item in here today, folks, because who needs DeWalt? Who needs Ryobi? Who needs Craftsman when you got this guy right here? Okay, now here you have your scarecrows on the stake. These guys here are all 10 bucks. You get your bags of skulls and chains and bones and these are your glow-in-the-dark skeletons with LED eyes. These are cool. Some of the items are a little pricey though, but you know, whatever. You do it once, you buy them once. These, these skeletons, these glow-in-the-dark skeletons here are $36.98. And then you got these smaller hanging skeletons here, which are kind of cool. These are $19.98. Check this dude out, man. That is freaky. I imagine he's 30 bucks like the other ones. Now this dude is vicious here. So here we have some animated skeleton wolves here. Like, wow. These are $40 here. Okay, so here we have some garden Halloween flags here. The one here with the pumpkins on it, which looks really nice. That's a cute design. That one there, uh, let me see. Well, there's two prices. I think these are $8.98. Oh, the stand, you, you buy them separate. So the stands are $7 and the flags are $9. So that's how that works. And this is the other flag there. It's the one for Thanksgiving. Harvest time. And here's another flag that they have. They got two others here. And the other one down below showing the truck with the pumpkins in the back. And they've got this other display here where you can go overboard on scares. More brilliant Halloween. And I've, and I guess they have more stuff that you can get online. So most of these here are $15. And I'm glad to see all of these in LEDs finally instead of the old incandescent light bulbs. I hate those things. And I gotta tell you guys, I am really, really digging this pirate ship here. This would be a great centerpiece to put in your front lawn here. This whole thing right here, this is the grand finale of the giant pieces. But uh, this one here is, uh, this one here is $329. It's an LED pirate ship. And this is just so cool looking. This is probably the best Halloween display Home Depot has ever put up. And check out this dude here, man. I love that brilliant blue jacket. It's just the colors on it are incredible there. So he stands about as tall as me. And he's got a peg leg. He's a pirate. Oh, and he's got a hook there as well, don't you know? And check this out. The little skull on the bottom of the sword there. I like that. He talks. Too much chocolate could make you a little bit squicky. Make a mistake around me and it would cost you. <laughs> Come on over here and look at me in the dead lights. If you don't be sharing your candy with me, I'll have you dance in the hippo chain. Oh yes. <laughs> so when you hear all the things that he's saying about the chocolate and the candy and stuff, and this would be a great one to have right, right next to your pot of candy. 
out front in front of the front door. And of course, let's not forget the pumpkin spiced broom here. No, he's not $99. <laughs> I don't know how much he is. That price tag there is for the pair of the skeleton pirates. See these two pirates right here. So here we are looking at them on the display. So $99 for these two dudes right here. Oh, and they're in. No, they're not animated. I don't think. Let me see. No. And so we still don't know how much this guy is. I don't see a price on him anywhere. He might be 99 would be my guess. Because he's, he's animated. And he's a little more better dressed than these other two uh, lowlifes over here. And of course here we have our furry critters and some some more uh, wood signs to put out in your front yard. These are $10 each. And these are your solar light stakes. These are really cool. So they'll glow at night once they've collected them up. Once they've collected up enough solar power, these things will glow at night. And here we have our gravestones here. This tombstone here is 36 inches tall. $15 and you've got some smaller ones here that are 20 inches tall and these are 15 I like this old-fashioned haunted mansion haunted mansion camera oh this is cool oh check that out oh that is cool dudes you like that plays the organ sound and everything Looks like an old ancient Polaroid. That is cool, dudes. All right. Okay, so if you're willing to shell out 25 bucks, you can get these much nicer looking tombstones that are much more intricate in design and have the skulls sticking out of them there. And there's another version of it here also. Oh, I was wrong. Okay, so this pirate dude here is only $79. There's his box. So the box stands maybe 15 inches tall. Not too bad. We've only got three of them here. Okay, so that's what I wanted to point that out to you also, guys. When you come here and you see these guys here, these big fancy things, there's usually only a couple of them, so there's three of this guy here. And if you don't snap that up now, you know, you're, you're probably not ever going to get him. If you think you're going to wait for it to come on sale, you know, they might be gone before then. But you guys, you, you know, whenever you've seen me do the Shop With Me tours of Home Depot, you know I always show you my little trick here, right, with the Lowe's discount card here, the 10% off card. Home Depot honors these cards here. So... Make sure you can, if you can get a hold of one of these here. Oop, don't drop it. So, if you can get your, your hands on one of these and bring it into Home Depot, they honor only this one, this blue movers card from Lowe's. So this is the only one they honor right here, is this blue card from Lowe's. So that'll get you 10% off, at least. Okay, and in case you missed these, I showed these before last week in our, in our walkthrough when I snuck back in here. And they also have something very similar to this at, at Lowe's, but Lowe's doesn't do the globe. See, so Home Depot here has the globe inflatable, and this is really cool. What it does is it projects video on the inside of it, see? So here, we'll show the demo here. That looks so cool, doesn't it? Okay, so these are actually cheaper here than they were at Lowe's. So they got these here at $199. Whereas at Lowe's, they were $229. So it looks like they've got about six 
of each one of these things. And if you don't want to wait for a sale or you're afraid they might disappear, like I said, you can use the 10% off Lowe's card that I just showed you. There's the backside look of the pirate ship. And just check out these lovely little angels here. Man, these remind me of the two girls from uh, The Shining standing by the elevator. <laughs> these are very eerie and realistic. So there she is all lit up. So these all here are basically $40. They've got all the price tags for them right there. They really went all out this year with all of the animated stuff and uh, the LED lighting. Okay, now they got this high voltage box here with the cables. That looks pretty cool. This is $20 right here. And these lovely hanging creatures right here. These are all $24.98. So 25 bucks for these. And as usual, all of these are animated too. He's not doing too much. We got a witchy woman right here. Cheers. So they've really gone full bore with all of the animated stuff here. See what she does. Okay, so this right here is the 20 inch animated LED skeleton dog. Sounds ferocious. Okay, so they've got some real bargains here now. So these mats here are going to be 688. So you got like this one says boo. You got another one with the skeletons there. And you got another one there. It says happy Halloween. Oh, so that LED coffin carriage that I showed you earlier, here's the size of the box here. It looks to be close to two feet wide and about a foot tall. <clears throat> and over here, the six foot animated Wicked Witches that I showed you earlier, this is the box that it comes in. It's maybe two feet by two feet. And the animated LED Witch, the six foot that I showed you earlier, and long, along with the Sorcerer Dude there, uh, their boxes are fairly small. So they extend up six feet and the boxes are about two feet, not even two feet tall, I don't think. And that knight skeleton that I showed you earlier, that's his box right there. Not even two feet. Okay, let's focus our attention upward now because we have these two gigantic inflatables here. The first one on the, on the right there is that giant pumpkin reaper. He's $129. And that really cool looking uh, blue flashing giant ghoul ghost, he is $129. And then you get this boo sign here, which looks kind of neat. He's $40. He looks to be about four feet long and not even two feet tall. Good size to have in your front yard. And you got a 48 inch dragon inflatable there for $40. 
And of course we have our 400 watt fog machine and our 400 watt um, the, the ground fog, which personally I don't really see how it's really any different than the other fog machines. Other than the fact that it spreads them out, it comes out of a wider, flatter opening rather than just a hole, see? I don't think it's going to hug the ground any better than any of the others. That remains to be seen. Alright, so check this out here. We have this thing called a webcaster gun, which gives you realistic results to create super webs. So, what it does, oh, you know what, this thing's all it really is, it's an overpriced, glorified, uh, hot, hot wax gun. Because you're supposed to put these sticks of wax in it, and I guess it just kind of makes them very fibrous when it melts them. And then here, for $10 here, you got yourself a six-foot fog hose. So you would connect this to the end of your fog machine, and then you can sneak this down and run it anywhere you want along the ground. That's kind of neat. So now they're really trying to maximize how much money they can make off you with these little attachments and stuff that you stick on the front of your fog machine. So here you got these zombie head fog accessories here. Here you got a 29 inch Grim Reaper. This is a groundbreaker. This is another fog accessory. I mean, holy cow. You're spending as much as the machine on just an accessory here. So this plugs into your machine, I guess, and he'll probably spit the fog out. Get your nice LED Halloween fogging skull. Okay, so both of those inflatables that I just showed you come in these boxes here. They appear to be about 12 inches by 12 inches. Okay, so coming around the corner here, we have our rocking chair witch. Actually, I think she's more beautiful than the other witch. I think I'm going to dump the other girl and go out with this girl instead. She has very, very compelling green eyes. So she's $149. And let's see how she reacts when I push the button. This would be great to put out by your front door in front of the candy. Hey, and check this out, guys. This might just be my new favorite one here. This is the Wicked Cauldron Witches. This is $179. Now, this is, I think, better than that inflatable that I showed you earlier of the Wicked Witches. But look at this, man. Tell me these ladies aren't some really scary dudes. So as we look inside of it here, it doesn't look like the, you can put candy in there because they left it open on the bottom. Presumably that thing down there lights up and sends a glow up here. So it would have been nice if they had designed it that you could have this be your candy bowl as well. Because this whole display here is really nice. That's $179 right there. So it looks to me like this year Home Depot was really banking on people spending a lot of bucks on Halloween.
Dudes, check this out. So even though we're only in a hurricane watch and we know that the storm is going to veer north of us, Dorian, the hurricane, they've really got a lot of stuff brought out. All of these boxes here filled with tarps and huge, huge amounts of rolls of plastic sheeting. I mean, hundreds of cases of them, hundreds and hundreds of buckets. And we get, uh, they brought in a whole bunch of these, the rigid 12 gallon uh, wet dry vacs. Now this is a steal right here, dudes, to get a 12 gallon thing like this. 69.88. <clears throat> Luckily for a lot of these people, uh, the hurricane is coming on a Labor Day weekend where there was already a Labor Day sale in place like on the, these rigid wet dry vacs and on the generators too, especially over at Lowe's. They had like $130 off, I think, on those Caterpillar generators. And so here, this is cool here for two bucks, dude. You get a classic cinnamon broom. I'll get this for my daughter. That'll be part of my Home Depot haul for today. And they get uh, your pine cone. People are starting to line up right now over here at the paint department. They're all here to take advantage of this Labor Day sale that they're doing that you heard us mention the other day when we did our Labor Day walkthrough here. So they're doing 10 they're doing $10 off of a gallon of paint, and they're doing $40 off if you buy the three and five gallon buckets. That's usually the one I get right there is the five gallon deal. So usually they run this deal every Memorial Day and every Labor Day, and this is the time to get your butt in there and get some paint, folks. That's when I stock up on my paints for all of my projects, because not only can I get them at $40 off of a five gallon jug there, okay, but by the time I walk up to the register, you can save an additional 10% off here by using the Lowe's coupon. And check this out, we got these Dewalt demo bars here. I think I'm going to grab one of these and make this part of my haul for today. All right, so check this out. They get this new, uh, no, this is this Milwaukee 500 lumen spot slash floodlight here. And it comes with USB here. So apparently you can charge it with USB. So I'm gonna try this. This thing is 80 bucks though. I mean, holy cow, that's a lot of money. But 500 lumens coming out of this tiny little flashlight here. We'll try it out and see how it looks. Okay, so they got these here too. These are the drywall setting bits. I love these things. I, I've been buying them from DeWalt. I'll buy a set here now. I'll put these in my cart here. This will be part of my haul as well today. Um, these are really great because when you're when you're repairing drywall and you have to screw the screws in, you put the screws on these bits and it sets it to the perfect distance inside the drywall without it tearing the paper. It's perfect textbook every time. It is textbook perfect every single time. So I like to get these and I like to put one in every one of my drill kit. Sometimes I'll also put some of these in my parts organizers as well too. Okay, so Milwaukee has this other one here too. This is pretty cool. This is one of those headband lights and it too will charge by USB. Okay. But I checked the price on this guy. This guy's 60 bucks, and I'm like, okay, I'm all Milwaukee'd out today. I'm not going to spend 80 bucks on this one and then 60 on another one. Okay, so now we have this 130-piece Ryobi bit set here, which is marked down on clearance to 1988, but I don't know what it was originally. And the only thing I don't like about this case here is, okay, so these two are solid color but only these two here have the clear cases. So I have stopped buying any cases of tool bits that are not clear on the cover like this one is, because I like to be able to see what's inside my numerous myriad uh, amounts of tool bit cases. Okay, so we're looking for a uh, torque lock here, and I'm debating between this one and this one. This one's a little bigger, um, but 
I like this one being somewhat smaller and I like the needle nose will get you into tighter spaces so I think I'm going to get this one. I'll probably do a video review on this one. Anyway, it's going into my Home Depot haul for today. Okay, so today they have on sale here the two different compact box levels here. And so the 48 inch one is $29.97 and the 24 inch one is $19.97. However, the one thing I don't like about these, and these aren't quite as bad though, I just don't like the yellow, the yellow liquid there, see that? Although this yellow is a lot lighter than most others. So I guess these aren't too bad. I've seen other ones where it just looks more like uh, urine yellow. And you can't even see the bubble. Okay, and so check this out. They brought this kit out in time for the back to campus sale that they did back in the early summer. And this is a great kit because it's 1088 and you can't beat this at all. 32 piece set. That's a great kit to put in the trunk of your teenager's car. So if you just bought your kid a car and you're sending them off to school, that's a great tool set to get. Or if you know somebody that's moving into their first apartment or house or something, that's a nice little uh, housewarming gift to give them. And then here, you got here, uh, these are on sale here, probably about half price or so. These are the, the two packs of 75 count utility blades from DeWalt. So these are normally a $30 value, and you got two 75 packs right here. All right, so here they've got this Husky 27-inch one-drawer uh, project center here. And what's really cool about this, so you got the two doors there and the single drawer, and it's got a pop-up pegboard as well. It's a fold-up. I think it folds up. I'm not sure. Uh, but anyway, they're charging 69 bucks for this one. Okay, so check this out. I come over here to the clearance section here, and they got this nice nice DeWalt set here of screwdrivers and this is $30 right now it's marked down from $39.97 and I like it. it comes with these really fat short stubby little screwdrivers here you get a slotted and a Phillips head so those are nice because these are hard to come by everybody should have one of these little stubbies in their kit and then next to it over here we have a 20 volt max lithium ion battery here and this guy is $72, marked down from $79. All right, now something is wrong with this pricing here because I just pulled this up on their website. This is a one and a half amp hour battery and it shows up as $49 on the website. So they're trying to charge 72 here. So something's wrong with that price. And you know what else is funny is DeWalt's probably too embarrassed to even mention that it's only one and a half amp hours on here. I don't know why it doesn't say it anywhere on the package here. And here they've got another set of DeWalt screwdrivers here for the Max Fit. So you've got four different drivers here. Oh yeah, and they got the little magnetic adapter there. That's nice, very nice. So this is $14, marked down from $19.97, so about $5 off. It's a pretty good discount. And all of these guys here are a magnetic. You got the adjustable sleeve. Let me back out and focus it better for you. There's the adjustable sleeve. And you got this massive rigid pipe wrench here. It's a 24 inch heavy duty pipe wrench. $63.98, but they're not saying what the original price was. So we don't know if you're even getting a bargain at all. Like I said, don't always trust these yellow stickers here in the clearance section. Always confirm how much it costs and always take the product and look on the back and scan the barcode on the back and see what they're going for online at other places. Today I'm going to help one of the widows from our church who has, uh, they just had the city show up at her house and gave her a $750 water bill because her toilet fill valve is bad and it's continuously pumping all day long. I wish she had called me sooner, but I'm going over today and I'm going to replace her fill valve there and getting her a new hose as well because I noticed her hose was getting a little rusty and really rusty and corroded is her her current water shut off so I'm going to replace it with this compression angle stop here and because she can't even shut the water off to the toilet we have to go outside to cut off the water so we got to fix that for her as well and a new flapper her flapper was leaking so she had three things wrong with her toilet there we're going to fix that today hey, and check out this massive savings here this is on that 250 piece mechanics tool set here from Husky. So this guy is 179 marked down from 249. 
So, dude, they already took uh, about 70 bucks off of this thing here. Oh, check this out, man. My dudes are back. My favorite Delta Intuition. I just installed this two weeks ago in my friend's bathroom here, and we got it for the sale price of $64.98. And if you rem remember on last week's Home Depot Shop With Me tour that I did with you folks, the price had gone back up to 77 bucks, and I was like, dang. And now it, it, for Labor Day sale here, they just dropped it back to $64.98. So this thing keeps going up and down and up and down. If you know you're going to be buying stuff like these, man, you got to watch them. Come into the stores or follow them, follow it online, because these prices go up and down and up and down, and you want to catch it on a down cycle, not on an up cycle. Now here's the smaller one that's a lot cheaper. It's $49.98. That's their new lower price on this one. And um, I don't really... This is too small. Uh, this one looks much nicer, and it has five functions as opposed to four. And so I'm surprised here that they're not advertising this as a sale. That you know, you walk by it, you would never even know. I knew it was on sale because I saw it in the ad online. So they didn't do any kind of fanfare about it here, but it is all part of the Labor Day sale. And then coming over here and looking at all of the uh, incinerator garbage disposals here, you've got one here. The three-quarter horsepower select one is is on sale. It's marked down from $229 to $199. All right, now this is a new ceiling fan they just got in. It's not on sale or anything. That's the price, $229. It's a 60-inch fan, but this is really cool. The camera doesn't show it as much, but right now it's a, it's a little bit warmer yellow there. And here it's going to change a little bit lighter yellow. And here it's going to change to pure white. So this is one of those fans where you can adjust the color temperature of the light which is really neat. You're starting to see more of these in here now at Home Depot. And here you can see, they've got, this is actually a really good price. I think I might score this one too, I'm not sure. Um, this is the, you got two of the, the torque locks here. You got a 10 inch and you got a six inch here. And these are $14.97 for the pair. So it's five bucks off. But that other one that I put in my cart a little while ago was like $14 by itself. But that's a much more upgraded version with the ergonomic grips. Hey, make sure you go ahead and smash that like button down below there, right? And while you're at it, click on that subscribe button down below there. And after you do that, make sure you click the gray bell icon next to it. That way you'll never miss a video because we are constantly uploading all sorts of videos for you. We do tool reviews like this. We do all sorts of uh, engineering failures through your house. We show you how to do all sorts of home renovations, kitchen renovations, bathroom renovations. And believe me, you don't want to miss our videos. So that's it for this time, folks. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate each and every one of you tuning in here today. And we'll see you on the next one.